Self-image comes from within. It's how we see ourselves, which, in turn, projects out into the world and is delivered back to us in its exact form. We respond to our world, our experience, and the people we interact with based on how we see ourselves. If there is an old, outmoded image of the self, behaviors and choices will be based on a version of who we were in the past. The creative machine within you is unbiased. It will work automatically to achieve whatever type of goal you present it with. Whether that goal is for success and happiness or failure and misery, this creative machine uses the information we give it to create a dominant self-image and work out its plan for manifesting everything in alignment with that image. That information is given in the form of thoughts, beliefs, and emotions that have compiled over the course of a person's lifetime. If we are to use this creative machine for success, it is imperative to learn, practice, and experience new habits of thinking, imagining, remembering, and acting that are agreeable with the type of life we want to live. Oftentimes, we fail to realize that our dominant self-image is outdated. If there is a feeling of not being able to attract what you want from life, it will most likely be directly related to the image that you hold of yourself. In the same manner that you wouldn't want to wear an outfit that you wore when you were 10 years old, the self-image must be reevaluated to see if it's time for an upgrade and more modern version of itself. And if you've outgrown this model, and most do with time and age, a new version of the self can be designed. Following are five steps to adjust your self-image to the type of person you choose to be so that you can begin to attract circumstances and people that are energetic match to that. Number one, take a moment to write down your assumptions about yourself. How do you describe yourself to others? Write down your strongest traits and anything that you perceive to be a weakness. Try to go beyond the first few things that come to mind and dig as deep as you're able to. Be completely honest with yourself. Note your strong points and anything that you may consider to be a weakness. 2. What part of this list do you want to change? Can you recognize any negative assumptions that might keep you from manifesting what you want? For example, do you say to yourself, I'll never attract a quality partner because I'm just not that attractive? Or, I won't create the type of money I want in my life because I'm not qualified enough? 3. Once you've identified specific aspects of your self-image that require alteration in order to deliberately create what you want, come up with a plan. Redefine who you want to be and create a strategy that is achievable and incremental. By taking small steps and going against your own grain, you can step outside the walls of your current self-image. This stretches the limitation that your mind has established for you and creates new boundaries that are more flexible. For instance, if you want to get healthy and eventually run a marathon, begin by taking a light jog before work. Or, if you want a new relationship, go to new places that you've never been before and open yourself to meeting new people. 4. Take anything you perceive to be negative about yourself and turn it around into a positive statement. Write down these new definitions and read them back to yourself every day for the next 30 days until you start acting like this person and making decisions based on this new, completely positive person. For example, I can create the amount of money that I want in my life because I know that I need to become more qualified and I'm perfectly capable of doing that. Or, I do have a lot of very attractive qualities and there is someone perfect out there for me. 5. Take the time to rewrite the script of your life, starting from early childhood and create yourself as the character that you would most like to be. 
Make it the fairy tale you choose for yourself without holding anything back. Give your new character all of the things that he or she deserves to have in this life. Read your new story daily and submerge yourself in it. Feel as though this is the storyline that really is your life and begin to stand a little taller, dress differently, and truly act the way this character would act in real life. When your actions and demeanor begin to reflect a new you, new experiences, and people will come into your life. Who you have been doesn't have to dictate who you are now. All of life is rooted in evolution and growth. Therefore, change and adaptation is an intricate part of who we each are. Our lives are shaped significantly by the self-image that we create. This is the story we tell about ourselves and the kind of person we believe ourselves to be, what we are capable of achieving and how we should behave. We have each put years into becoming that person we are. Accordingly, don't expect changes, even small ones, to happen overnight. With these steps, you're not only learning to move against your own habits and instincts, you're literally etching new thought pathways in your brain and this can take some time. With continued practice, these new habits and pathways will replace the old, outdated ones. Who you are now is a combination of all your thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and experiences from your past. Who you can be is a combination of all the new experiences you're willing to try, all of the beliefs you're willing to question, the risks you're willing to take, and the new story you're willing to write. By changing what you do, you literally change who you are.